In 2021, legislation was passed to make Juneteenth a federal holiday, coinciding with our first celebration of the holiday here at SAGE. The origins of Juneteenth date back to June 19, 1865, when the Union Army arrived in Galveston, Texas to announce and enforce the Emancipation Proclamation signed by President Lincoln two and a half years earlier. While it marked the end of an era of slavery, it also marked the beginning of oppression under Jim Crow. But that's a topic for another day. I wanna talk about how I approach Juneteenth as an American. And as an American, I implore my fellow Americans to recognize it not solely as an African-American or a black holiday. Don't get me wrong, it is predominantly celebrated by African-Americans and its focus should remain to honor the freedom of the descendants of enslaved people. However, when we consider the connection Juneteenth has with the founding of our nation, and specifically with the Declaration of Independence, the bond becomes more evident. It has always struck me a bit peculiar that almost all Americans celebrate Independence Day, thinking of it as the founding of our freedom, yet at that time, not everyone was free. And as I stand in a backyard barbecue with a hot dog in one hand on like the 4th of July, I'm reminded that black people remain enslaved for another 89 years. And so Juneteenth marks the day when my ancestors realize their the entitlement to the promise declared 89 years before. It represents a moment when all Americans were truly free to claim the benefits our country had to offer. And while we still fight today for many of these promises to be realized by all, Juneteenth stands as a reminder that we can celebrate and appreciate each other fully as free people. Just as we commemorate the courageous and rebellious spirit on the 4th of July that defying the British to become a nation unto ourselves, on Juneteenth we can celebrate that same spirit. We can celebrate not just being granted freedom or simply commemorating the Emancipation Proclamation itself. We can celebrate in the enduring spirit of people who lived through the horrors of slavery. I am recognizing their perseverance, endurance, their suppressed slave revolts, and the remarkable contributions they have made to American culture despite their troubled beginnings in this country. And while I don't want to see Juneteenth become another holiday where corporations offer these trivial sales and people forget the true meaning while lounging poolside, I want all Americans to acknowledge its significance. As with any holiday, I encourage you to spend time with your family, your friends, and loved ones, reflecting on what matters to you, but also hopefully what matters to others. Embracing this understanding can make us better colleagues, better community members, and overall, better Americans.